I was a nutrition and food science major in college, and so I really thought that it was better living through chemistry. Like you can always find a pill or invent something or manufacture some sort of food that will make you feel better and you can make it exactly what you need. And so I think discovering paleo is kind of a 180 from that because it is going back to eating whole unprocessed foods and really just paying attention to how food makes you feel. Because for so long I would just do whatever my doctors and my professors told me was healthy and I never thought about how I actually felt. I just said, oh, this is supposed to be healthy or this is the 100 calorie pack, I'll just grab these and eat them. And the whole time I was feeling miserable, but I never put two and two together that maybe what I'm eating is causing me to feel certain ways because it can't be the food. Like this is something that everyone says is so healthy. But I think once I started paying attention to that, like everything changed and I felt like I was in the matrix. And finally like the veil was lifted and I wanted to tell everyone about it. There's this phrase in Cantonese where you're described as being waisik, meaning that you just live to eat. And that's what my parents had called me, my grandparents had called me ever since I was little because I would just get so much joy out of eating certain foods. And so my inspiration for my recipes really is just something I've had and I've eaten a lot in my 44 years. <laughs> but I don't love cooking. I love eating and I want it to be delicious. And I think I did Nom Nom Paley because I was like, shoot, I have to cook my own food because everything else just doesn't taste the way I want it to taste. And so then you just do it and I practiced at it. And that's just kind of how it grew. So my top tips for getting people in the kitchen and getting excited about cooking real food are just to do it. Like I think there are too many people that just sit on the couch and watch Food Network and all these amazing cooking shows and they've seen everything, they know what everything is, but in practice, they don't know how to do it. So I think you just need to get in the kitchen, get a sharp knife, and start cooking. And I think there are lots of different ways to learn how to cook these days. Like there's YouTube, there's you know the internet, and there are cookbooks. You have to allow yourself to fail and not get too crazy about it because the more you do it, the better you will be.